Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? It's a special announcement today. I was going to make a video about this. And I decided I'm not making a video. I am not editing video. I don't feel like making a video and taking forever. I am going to do it front and center. Today is Saturday, December 17th, 2022, and it is 3.40 p.m. here in Florida. So today I'm going to make a special announcement. I am going to introduce to you guys my new cable line, the cable that only I will be representing in the United States of America. I, I will be the sole, I actually will say, I am the sole distributor of this new cable line. So before I start, and before I start telling you guys why I decided to become a distributor of a cable line, okay, I want to first thank you guys for being part of this, for being part of my journey. It has been an incredible 2022 Amazing. A lot of great things have happened since then. You guys have seen some of the best electronics available to us today. Okay. And um, it's been an amazing journey. You guys have been very supportive. I want to thank you all for the support that you guys have given me on my website, jaysaudiolab.com, where I have a lot of content that will never make it here. If you want to see more things that are neat, that are cool, more tricks, more things of what I know how to do, okay, that I unfortunately don't have the time to do on YouTube, consider becoming a member of my website, jaysaudiolab.com. But anyway, this isn't about my website. This is about talking to you guys about the new cable line that I will be representing here in the United States. You're not going to be able to buy this from another dealer in the country. Don't try calling other dealers. I am the only person authorized to sell this cable line in the United States. And I am waiting for us to get to about 50 people before I start talking to you guys. So before I start telling you, let me give you a little bit of a backstory as to how I came about and why I decided to become a distributor for the first time in my life. Okay, first of all, uh, I'm going to share with you something about Block Audio, okay? Block Audio Electronics from the Czech Republic's Czech Republic. I was the original person, the person who really, really identified how amazing, how incredible this particular amplifier brand is. I never went public to make a video about it because I felt like it was very, very um, close to me. I felt like it was my discovery. I felt like, you know what? I need to figure out a way to see if I can become the distributor of this amplifier line. You guys have heard me articulate many times by now that I have owned over 300 power amplifiers. So when I identify something that sounds special, I am going to come front and center. I will know when that is the case. Long story short, um, for the past four years, you know, I always regretted not becoming the U.S. distributor of Block Audio because in my belief, it's one of the greatest components available to us today. One of the greatest brands available to us today. Okay. Please hit the like button folks before I continue. So we can call on more people, hit that like button, help me to call on more people to join us today. Okay. So that we can make this a greater, greater video. So you guys can hear me out what cable line I am going to be representing today. Folks. Um, so I missed on the opportunity to become a distributor for Block Audio financially. I wasn't ready to make a commitment. Number two, um, you know, I just was very early in the game, to be honest with you. OK, and I knew I had missed an opportunity to put me my, to put my name behind something that I really believed in. Anyway, that's the past. I have turned the page since then. OK, um, and if you want to know my thoughts on Block Audio, you can always go to my website and become a member and I can give you my thoughts in the line. So over the last 12 months, 
2022. Okay, guys, I have been on a quest, a very difficult quest, to locate a cable brand, okay, that, in my opinion, performs in the same fashion as some of the big heavy hitters that you guys have seen on my channel. Here is one. Okay, some of the big heavy hitters that you guys see on my channel all the time. Yes? You guys are in agreement? Okay. Cool. So, here's what I've been doing. Been tired of paying $20,000, $30,000, $15,000 for cables. For one cable. I was here. I was fed up. I felt like there is no way in hell that some of these cables oftentimes are worth more than components, more than a car, than a nice car, I should say. And so I decided to say, you know what, man, I, am, I have found in the past a diamond in the rough. I have found great products that I was never able to represent because I just wasn't mentally there. I wasn't ready. OK, and so I said, I got to find a cable line that performs like the heavy hitters that I have had here on my channel. There's got to be a cable line that does not break the bank, that doesn't make you want to that makes you want to take out a loan. OK, to afford it. And so I started to try a lot of cables behind closed doors. I must have gone through at least over the over the past 12 months. I would say anywhere from six to 10 cable lines, six to 10 cable lines that do not have any representation in the United States, okay? Because I did not want a line that already has a name and already has a recognition in this country. I don't want to be another cheerleader, okay? I don't want to make marketing through my platform for other dealers. I needed to find my own thing. And if you can hear my passion about this in my voice, this is why I'm talking like this. So I embarked on looking for a cable line that gave me a couple of things. And this is the criteria that I was after. Number one, no cable within this cable line, within the top model, listen to this, within the top model of this cable line, no cable could be or can be more than $6,000 MSRP. You're listening to me. The top model of this cable line, nothing goes actually above $5,500 MSRP. Hear me out, $5,500. No cable goes above, above that price point. Number two, this has to perform and bring it against the heavy hitters that I have had here with regards to cables. I had to do a ton of A and B comparisons in here with these expensive cable lines that you guys all have probably bought and you probably own right now, okay? So I went on a quest to make sure that I compared apples to apples. And yes, I ended up sending home six to seven different cable lines until I came up with this next cable line that I'm going to unveil right now. So, okay, so the value needed to be, nothing could be over 6K for their top model. Okay, that's one. It had to perform very close, if not as good as the top heavy hitter cable lines that we all know about. Okay. Three, it had to be natural sounding. I don't want a cable line that boosts the bass, that boosts the high frequencies. You know which cable lines those are. I don't have to articulate them. You guys know what cable lines sound bright as hell. You guys know what cable lines have a lot of bass making the presentation muddy. I needed a cable that was very balanced, top to bottom. I didn't want anything to stand out. I didn't want to have to turn down the volume after listening for 10 to 20 minutes. Okay. So that is the criteria. Long listening sessions, very complete top to bottom. And it had to have the resolution that I strive for, the nuance 
And the most important thing, this clarity, that clarity that really, really makes you feel like you're part of the presentation, like you're part of this venue where this is taking place. Okay. So those were the, those were the things that I was looking for. Okay. And I started to work day in, day out, two o'clock in the morning. I was here listening, comparing cables. You guys don't know about this. You're knowing you're, you're hearing it from me. I had to live with that cable line for at least two months and be able to do A and B comparisons after sitting down um, and really taking notes. And I have finally, finally found the cable line. Finally, that will not make you spend, you know, a hundred thousand dollars, something that is so stupid. Okay. I'm already spending a lot of money on the rest of the gear, and I refuse to spend five figures, six figures for a freaking cable. I'm not doing it no more. I'm done. And I, I'm here to present to you guys, okay the new cable line. But before I do that, hit that like button, please. Do me that favor. Hit that like button, please. Okay. Let's call on more people to join me here on this beautiful Saturday afternoon here in Florida. Okay, guys, hit that like button. Okay. I am going to show you the cable line that I will be representing in the United States as the US, I am the US distributor of this cable line. Are you guys are you guys ready? Let me show you. You are looking at the new cable line that Jay's Audio Lab will be representing here in the United States of America. It is called authentic authentic audio images from Slovakia. Okay, authentic audio images from Slovakia. This right here, folks, is my new cable line. This is the cable line that I will be using going forward. And although I have to stay relevant and continue to explore other cable lines just so that when you guys want to do a consultation with me, I have something to give you feedback on. Yes, I will continue to listen to other cables because I have to do this if I want to stay on this in this business, okay? But for me going forward, so that you guys are clear, this is my new cable line. This is what I will be using going forward. I will no more be using the mainstream brands that you guys have seen on my channel, unless it's because I am doing a particular test of some sort, or I need to try something that I may need to tweak for whatever reason. But going forward, this is my new cable line. You have it right here, Jay's Audio Lab approved. This took me a long time to find. This to me is the most natural sounding cable I have ever heard. This is their top of the line speaker cable. This is the top of the line speaker cable. This is a two meter run, okay? And I believe the MSRP is about $53, $5,400. This right here, this cable, this cable right here, it's easily, $40,000 cable, six dollars $5,500 cable. This cable right here is easily 95% of what this cable brings you. Easily for under $6,000. So if you guys want to get out there and believe all the smoke that you're being sold, you can continue to do that and keep spending top dollar on cables. You want to keep doing that? It's your money. Have fun. I'm not doing that anymore. I live with this stuff. You guys see it on my channel. This right here is 95 to 95 95 to 98 percent of what's of what that cable is and other cables that will go nameless. So this is one thing that I like about this cable. First of all, it's a solid piece of copper. See, you can bend it and it's stiff. See that solid piece. There's no strands in here. There's no strands together. None of that. It's solid. It's silver plated copper. Silver plated copper. Okay. It is absolutely insane. And by the way, the speaker cable comes separate like this. So this is one for one speaker, one side. It's two separate cables, completely independent. Okay. 
I love the natural feeling that this cable line has given me. I love the feeling that you're there. It's so engaging. It's so musical. It really makes you relax. Nothing jumps at you. Are you sick of hearing brightness through your system? Are you tired of knowing that when you crank up your system, you got to leave the room? Are you tired of knowing that your system simply is always fatiguing you? This cable will take care of that right here. Are you? Do you have a system that has way too much bass that you simply just can't stand? This cable will fix that. This is the most natural sounding cable I have ever heard in my experience. And again, you guys know the system and the level of gear that I own. And I still have it here. I still have some of those top, top, top cable brands from the United States. No more. Jay is done with that. Jay is done using that unless it is to do comparisons or I need again to try a different cable for whatever reason. This is what I'm going to be using going forward. Authentic audio images from Slovakia. Check out the website. That is my new cable line. I am the only person authorized to sell it in the United States. Are you sick of spending top dollar? Are you tired of being ripped off? Right here. This is what you need to get. This is the cable you need to get. Forget about spending 10 Gs. Forget about spending 20 Gs. Guys, an entire loom. I was looking at it. Two power cords, um, a, a set of speaker cables, two sets of footers, which, by the way, they also sell footers, which I am using under my 3010 preamplifier, the footers they sell. And these footers, by the way, they're not a lot of money. They're not a lot of money. Okay. And by the way, with these footers, the change is instant. You don't have to be waiting a month and a half. You don't have to be waiting three months to hear a change. It's instant. The moment you put in under your devices, your electronics, it's instant with these footers that they sell. Okay. And what I wanted to say to you is, folks, we've been ripped off way too long. <laughs> way too long. Way too long. I'm done. Like, you're not taking me for a ride anymore. I'm done with that. If you are in a position today to buy new cables and you're in the middle of this conversation right now or you're going to be in that conversation early next year, do not overlook this cable line. Talk to me about it. Let me talk to you about it. I probably have the cables you own right now in here. I can easily do an A and B comparison with you guys if you flew into my room, assuming that you want to do business with me. I can easily do it here with whatever cable line you desire against whatever cable line you desire. These cables sound amazing. These are some of the best sounding cables I have ever heard through a magical speaker, period. You got a magical speaker right now? Are you tired of brightness? Are you sick of it? Are you getting fatigued? These are some of the best cables I heard with magical speakers right here, right here. And soon I am going to have a Wilson Audio Sasha DAW in the room. And I'm going to do the same thing. And you guys are going to hear that Sasha DAW sound amazing with these cables too. So if you have a Wilson Audio speaker, I guarantee you these are your, spe these are your speaker cables. Last night I was listening to this speaker that you cannot see right now. It's a different brand you guys know nothing about yet. And I had transparent cables connected. Presentation was good. Everything was great. I, again, I still will give accolades to transparent for having great cables. Not going to say anything different. My pain point is the prices. That's when I think it's getting out of hand. This needs to stop. This, need to, this, this needs to freaking stop. Okay? It's got to come to an end. And unless people like me are front and center to call this out and really change where this is headed, guys, it's going to get ridiculous. By the time we realize cables will be as much as power cord, as, as houses, as cars, as, it's going to be ridiculous, guys, okay? By the time we realize, it's got to come to a freaking end. And I plan to put an end to it, okay? I plan to start giving you guys something that I have been accused of never doing ever, which is performance for the, per, the, per dollar spent. This is the price performance for this. Is amazing. Price performance with this cable is freaking mind-boggling. 
mind boggling. So yesterday I was listening to the speakers that you can't see right now. And I had transparent cables. I was rotating cables, right? And you guys heard that last video. It's still work in progress. I get it. And all of a sudden, I removed those transparent cables and put this back in. And it just did this immediately. It just did this. Everything to me sounded more relaxed, just more natural, more calm. The nuance is there. The detail is there. The clarity is there. But it's not so forced down my throat. Some cables, guys, some cables, I'm telling you right now, some cables force this clarity, this detail down your throat. And then you realize after 30 days of living with these cables, you know what? I can't do this anymore. It's fatiguing me now. It's like great for 10 minutes and then I'm out. I can't listen to it anymore. That is what I'm saying to you guys because of the fact that some of these cable brands are tuning the hell out of the system in a way that will impress you and that forces you to buy in the beginning. Okay, it forces you to buy because it's impressive. Then as you live with it, you realize, yeah, it sounds good, but it doesn't make me sit there and tap my feet, tap my feet for an hour and a half, two hours. You have no idea right now. Okay, I'm going to tell you something in, without something that was shared with me in confidentiality in the past at Capital Audio Fest. I had a guy walk up to me. He has an amazing uh, Wilson audio system. He'll go nameless. Amazing Wilson audio system, transparent cables, uh, you name it. Right. And another person who had been there in that same room in his home walked up to me and said, Hey Jay, you know what? Uh, I heard that system and I went with my buddy. And to be honest with you, Jay, uh, my friend, when he, when we started to listen, he actually pretended that he had to take a phone call, okay? This guy had never heard that system in that private property. He pretended he had to take a phone call to step out of the room because of the level of brightness. It was clear, but it was so much that I was completely that he was completely overwhelmed. And to be honest with you, Jay, I have to agree. It's great at low volumes, but when you crank it up, you can't sit there. It, you have to go. And that is the same thing that's been happening to me over the last few months before I discovered this cable. I couldn't stomach anymore this sheer clarity, guys. I couldn't do it anymore because it was so much of it that you become, your hearing is saturated. It just, it doesn't seem natural, guys. Are you guys looking for natural sound? If the answer is yes, you buy these. Are you looking for supernatural sound? then you buy the other cable lines that you guys know about. That's the difference. You answer that question for yourself first as far as where you want to go. Okay? Now you have it. Authentic audio images from Slovakia. That is my new cable line, and you're going to see it on my website pretty soon, and you're going to be able to check it out there and reach out to me if you're interested in buying this cable line that I now finally, finally, have finally have all to myself and finally can prove anyone out there watching me anybody sitting here how amazing this cable line is in here in my room all day every day you guys are going to see me next month travel to set up my magical s7s and i'm going to take a full loom of this cable a full loom and i'm going to do a video i'm going to make a video about this and you guys are going to hear it as a matter of fact you guys have been hearing the cables already with the A5s. What am I talking about? You guys have heard these cables with the S7s that you guys have been commenting on about how clear it sounds. These are the cables that I've been telling you. These, these cables, you guys heard them on my channel. If you need a reference point, go back to the videos. These are the cables that have been playing throughout. Do you hear muffle? You hear a muffle presentation when you when I had the magical S7s? No, you didn't. Did you hear, did you hear a muffle presentation with the A5s? No, you didn't. These are the cables. There you go. Shocker. Now you know what I was using this whole time. Anyway, I'm going to take a couple of questions right now, guys. So let's see what you guys have in mind. All right. Let me, let me, I'm going to, I'm going to share prices with you right now. Give me one second. Let me grab my phone. 
I'm gonna share the prices right now with you guys. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna just tell you prices before they go live. Okay. That way it's front and center and it is recorded right now. Okay. I'm gonna open up my uh, spreadsheet right now and I'm gonna give you guys the prices. Okay. All right. Bear with me. All right. So power cables. I'm gonna go over the two meter length. Two meter length, which is what we typically use, right? Two meters. Two meter length. The Vitorioso line, which is the entry level. The entry level is $21.50. Entry level. That's not a lot of money, folks. That's not a lot of money when you think about the level, the, the amount of money we're spending here. Okay. The Maestoso 2, okay. Maestoso is their middle of the pack. There is a review out there. If you look it up, there is a review out there of the Maestoso MK1, and they gave it glowing reviews. This is the Maestoso MK2. The MSRP for a two meter is $44.79. Two meter. The top model, which is what I have, the Asoluto, okay, the top model is $51.92. Two meter. Guys, you know the cables we typically see $7,500, $10,000, nor does Odin be in $20,000. This is nothing. This is a quarter of the money for oftentimes, especially when you think about the level of performance. Okay, this is nothing. Okay, I'm going to go over the speaker cables. The entry level, 2213. The top of the line model, 5341. 53 for the top model that is easily bringing them near 98% of the performance of a $40,000 speaker cable that I live with. Okay? That's what I'm saying. They got XLRs, same thing, $2,300 for the entry level, 56. The XLRs are actually, the XLRs, the two meter, is actually, excuse me, <clears throat> it's actually a little more than the speaker cables, the XLRs, okay? Um, and then the RCAs, the same thing, guys. So they start two grand, the top model will be being about 5,200 bucks. They got digital cables, they got jumpers, and they got footers. Okay, all of this, all of this, you guys have no clue, okay? You guys have no idea the level of work and how many comparisons I had to make in order to land at this cable, in order to finally sign on the dotted line and say, this is Jay's Audio Lab cable line. This is the price point that I've always wanted. This is going to make me not have to get a loan to afford cables so that I end this whole entire nonsense of spending tons of amount of money on cabling no more guys you hear it here going forward these are the cables you will hear on my channel and yes i will test other cables behind closed doors and for my website jaysaudiolab.com you can still talk to me about new cables you can still talk to me about synergistic you can still talk to me about shunyata you can still talk to me about anything else, and I will give you my honest opinion. No, I don't have to force my cable line on you. If you're paying me for a consultation, and I want to make sure I'm saying this clearly, I am going to remain objective, and I'm going to focus on your question without having to tell you what this new cable line is. If you decide to inquire about my cable line, then we can talk about my cable line. But I will remain on topic. When you reach out to me to do a consultation, you guys will get my opinion based on ownership of anything. I Again, I'll say it. I like Transparent Cables. They're a great cable brand. I've owned them for some time. This is not about bashing any cable line whatsoever. This is not the intent of what I'm doing here. I am not bashing a cable here. All I'm saying is the time to get more affordable cable lines that perform in the same fashion or damn near in the same fashion as, as those that are astronomically priced have come to an end, at least for me anyway. At least for me anyway. It may not have come for you, but for me, it's over. That conversation, I'm done with that. No more. Okay? I'll take a couple of questions now, guys. Michael, there is absolutely no, I mean, obviously, yes, there could be, you know, like anything else, I'm going to keep it real. Yes, there's always a discount that people expect. Not everybody, because there are some people that are not into asking for that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, clearly, right, if you want to hear it, you can fly into my home if you did want to. 
right, and sell your $100,000 worth of cables, buy my cables, assuming that you love them, and put away $50,000. I don't see how that's a loss. I don't think how that's not a good deal for anybody. The brand name is Authentic Audio Images. Authentic Audio Images. A-A-I dot com from Slovakia. They have everything. USB cables, Ethernet cables. Uh, they have um, coaxial cables. They have uh, basically every cable you can think of, they have it. As a matter of fact, I just got done ordering a full loom of cables uh, that will be the middle of the pack, which I think will be probably where most of you most of you guys will land. I just landed there. I'm going to order it. I'm going to break it in. And then I'm going to give you guys my feedback. I have been using their top of the line cables. Guys, you heard the cables on my channel with the Magic OS 7s for a long time. You heard it with the A5s. So you have already plenty of references. And, yo, I am not, again, I am not bashing any of those brands that are making a ton of money. All I'm doing is I am looking for value, and I am presenting to you guys something that I believe in performs damn near 95% to 98% as good as the heavy hitters. Now, if you believe that that extra 5 to that 3 to 5% extra is worth another 30 k to you, kudos to you, man. You don't have to be here listening to me. They are made in Slovakia. They are not made in China. They are made in Slovakia. If you're wondering, they are handmade in Slovakia, okay? What else? Do you, uh, I have, yes, guys. I have the cables on hand right here. Right here. Let me show you really quick the power cord. Hold on. Right here, look. Taking that out of my unit, my, my unit, look. Right here. Here it is. This is the power cord right here. Okay, this is the Asoluto right here, okay, right here, look, it's a, look at, it's a strand, see this, it's not braided, it's not like stranded, it's a chunk of copper, silver plated copper, okay, see, silver, the, the entire cable line is like this, silver plated copper what do you get for it nuance musicality naturalness very even top to bottom this is not the cable that's going to give you a ton of bass this is not the cable that's going to give you a ton of high frequency that you have to hide behind the couch because you can't take it this is a very well balanced cable and of course yes i would say it would be preferable if you can do the whole loom because that maximizes the entire effect of the presentation. AAI is, look, AAI cables, if you want to call them that, that's how we call them, AAI, authentic audio images, equals to AAI. Okay, AAI gives you the detail, the resolution, the nuance, but it doesn't force it down your throat the way some of these cable lines do. Okay, they, it's almost force. It's almost like you have to turn down the volume because if not, you're like, you're like looking for the volume. Oh, okay, sounds good. Oh, turn it down. It's too bright. Turn it up. Turn it down. It's too bright. It doesn't do that for you. The cable line is very relaxed sounding while still having the detail and the resolution that you're looking for. Right now, buddy, the orders, I just connected with them. I asked them exactly that. One of the things I also wanted to know, so you guys know I did my homework, was I asked them, if I place orders, what is what are the lead times? I don't want to hear that it's three months. They told me two to three weeks. That's it. 
Okay, so we will see. I believe it's two to three weeks. My opening order was placed yesterday, so I should have it in two weeks. Okay, and I order the middle of the pack. The middle of the pack is, you know, on average about four grand for a cable. But you think about it, guys. You can build a middle of the pack Maestoso. This is the Maestoso cable. Okay, you can build the entire system with the Maestoso line, the entire thing, USB, Ethernet, uh, power cord, XLR, speaker cables. MSRP, approximately 23 grand for the whole thing. The whole thing. Guys, this, this is ridiculous. 23 grand. This is 40,000. 40,000. For the game, for this. I mean, come on. How is that not a deal? How is that not a deal? Tell me. 23 grand for the whole loom. For the Maestoso, middle of the pack line. Middle of the pack. Think about that, guys. Come on, man. You guys know you have more money invested right now than that. And probably two cables. Three cable stops. No, they're flexible. Look, guys. The cables are not hard at all. Look. 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 Not all. They're not cables that you have to, like, ah, that you can, like, loop them through the back of your racks. No, these cables are very flexible, guys. This is a chunk of copper. All of the cables are chunks of copper together, one full strand, okay? Um, and it's silver plated. So copper, a lot, I, I still believe that copper cables to me, personally, I think I like copper more than any other material. What the silver plating does, it gives you that beautiful resolution, that nice detail and nuance and this sparkle on the top end, but they put just enough silver plating on it to not make it feel overwhelming. It doesn't really bury you. It doesn't really make you want to do this. You can go there and relax and everything is there front and center. I mean, I love it. I really feel like finally I found a cable that gave me a very well-balanced sound signature. And again, folks, the prices about around two grand for the entry level on most cables four grand for the middle on most cables and then five ish for their top model i mean this is like you guys know it like if this is nothing in comparison to what you guys have spent right now this is not i know for some of you guys it might be like i, I am logging out this is way too much well maybe this conversation doesn't pertain to you right you're not a cable believer but the rest of you guys the majority of you guys you know damn well right now you have far more money into your cables th than these cables are you know it and it wouldn't be bad to put away your sell your cables buy these and put away 10 grand fifteen thousand dollars in the pocket that's basically my intent to show you a value proposition because we've always been doing the same cables the same lines over and over again and you guys are always bashing me publicly on the comment sections for being ridiculous about spending just the other day ago, as a matter of fact, I saw a cable from a brand called Inacoustic that is $60,000. $60,000. Yes, you heard that right. I believe it was, I think it was a speaker cable. $60,000. Really? Seriously. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm saying. No, I'll let them catch you. They're not catching me anymore. I'm not, I'm not being a victim. Forget about it. They are done with me. Like, I am done with that. Jay is not praying anymore. I'm done with that. You guys want to keep doing that? Keep burning your money, man. Great. I'm glad you're in a position to do that. The rest of you guys who are looking for solid performance without having to take out a loan, I got the cables that you guys need. I'm telling you right now, I have done the trials for the last 12 months with over 10 different cable brands. And this is the only brand that truly, truly won me over and convinced me. And I have been living with them. It's not like they just got here yesterday and I'm here telling you this entire narrative. This is not the case. They have been with me for at least two months, at least. And I have been listening day in, day out, day in, day out, two months evaluating. And I'm telling you, I finally got here. And that's why I'm being very honest today, openly. I decided to become the U.S. distributor for this cable line. 
no more. I am not trying to do this to help other dealers that are going to be like, well, if Jay is advertising, I am going to become a dealer too because Jay is doing the homework for us. So we just have to be a call center and be like, hello? Yeah, I'd like to order those cables that Jay just talked about on the site. Uh, can you order them for me? Yeah, how many do you want? No, that's done. Jay is the only person authorized to sell the cables. I'm done. I'm not done doing work for other dealers. I'm done. I'm done. And I am putting in the work. I am putting in the work. You guys see it every day on my channel. Every day you see it on my channel. The price of the top range of the USB is, let me tell you right now. I'm looking at the prices for the USB. Uh, top end is $23.97. Top end USB. Okay. The cheaper one, $9.94. I got cables that are more money than that. USB cables that are more money than that. So, you know, any other questions? Let me see. Uh I just feel, guys, that the $6,000 price point, guys, is the right price point for a lot of you. Right under six grand. I work very hard to locate cables. I Listen, uh, something else I want to tell you. There were cables that got to my door that were over 10 grand, over you know $15,000. And I told them, I said, I can't... I can't represent something that's not given value. I refuse to believe that a set of speaker cables or a power cord that's $15,000 represents value. I refuse to. There's no value in that. Don't tell me that a $15,000 power cord is value. There's no value in that. I don't give a damn how good it is. There's no value in it. There's no value in it. I wanted to bring my audience price performance. And I wanted to do the homework before I opened my loud mouth. And I was very opinionated and strong about this. I And I had these conversations with a lot of different brands. And I said, no, I can't. First of all, I don't want to pay $15,000 on, on this cable. That's number one. And if I don't want to pay fifteen, dollars I know, sure as hell, a lot of my viewers are not going to pay $15,000. So back to the drawing board and bring me something that meets the following criteria. And this cable line made it happen. That's what happened. And that's the back end story, if you must know. Okay. So if you are in a position where you feel, you know what, I'm sick and tired of my cables. I'm about done with them. I can never listen to my system. It's nothing but brightness. There's no emotion. It sounds very like cold. There's absolutely no engagement factor. Talk to me. That's all you got to do. And I'm not forcing them. Listen, guys, if you guys are happy with your cables, Good for you. Awesome. This conversation has nothing to do with you guys. This has to do with those of you who feel like, you know what? I want something that gives me 95% of what I've got and put in the bank and put the rest of the money in the bank. Then come and talk to me. I have I actually went to bed. Listen, I went to bed at three o'clock in the morning today. 3 a.m. and I woke up at 8 a.m. I slept maybe four and a half hours actually, okay? Thinking about how am I gonna tell you guys about this? Do I make a video uh, in, in, with nice introductions and you know and editing and all of this you know typical video, YouTube video, or do I just say it front and center, raw and uncut and show you my passion about what I'm feeling right now? And that's why I'm here live with you guys. Instead of being inside with my family, I'm here talking to you guys to share this with you. Stop getting hustle with expensive cabling stop getting hustle okay this is why i needed to get out of the united states and find cables elsewhere that i believe in that i can import and bring it to you guys because the rest i'm telling you unfortunately and this is something that i have to be honest about okay gotta be honest about this with you guys the cable industry is really dominated by the same group of brands okay Yes, guys, they have a lock on us. I'm not going to name brands. You guys know what they are. They have a lock on us, okay? Same five cable brands for everybody. Take it or leave it, like a communist country. This is what it is, okay? And, yeah, they have the power to keep jacking up prices. Every year, power cores are going up $800, $900 every year. It doesn't stop. And so I feel like, wait, wait a minute. Why do I have to be subject to this BS? No, I don't have to. I can make calls. I can have brands from overseas 
send me stuff for free to try. And if I don't like it, they can take it back. You guys can't do that clearly because you don't have a social media platform like I do. I understand that. But I could do that. So I felt like, wait a minute, I don't have to do this with these local cable brands, these domestic brands. Let me look to see what's out there over in Europe. And I did that. And they sent me cables over six, probably 10 brands. Try it. Try this. Try that. Try this. Try that. And, you know, I just never felt connected. I never felt like it was doing what I needed my system to do. <clears throat> and by the way, a lot of these cables that you, this cable brand, okay, that you guys see on my channel, once again, you're going to hear it with magical speakers, okay? You're going to hear it with Wilson speakers, which are, let's face it, guys, the most popular brands in the United States. Let's be honest here, okay? So it's going to apply to many of you guys. And the cool thing is I'll keep rotating more speakers and keep these cables. So you guys see that they sound good with basically, I want to say, all speakers out there. That might be one or two where it doesn't. Who knows? I'll probably never own that speaker. But I want to do this constantly with different cable, with different speakers all the time. I'm going to keep doing it over for you guys so you guys can hear it and you guys will hear it and you guys will be like, damn, Jay, I remember when you were doing X and Y brand. It sounded damn good, but these cables, what? For 60% cheaper? They sound that good? Forget about the other cable line then because if it's 60% cheaper, why am I going to go to the other brand if I'm hearing all the resolution, clarity, detail, emotion that I could possibly ask for? That's the point. And I'm going. To, I'm telling you guys, it's like I, I'm running out of breath telling you I have done the trials up until two, three o'clock in the morning, three, four days a week, constantly, guys, constantly. And I had it. I realized, why am I continuing? I was trying to find a reason to not represent anything because I wanted to believe what we have in the U.S. are indeed the best cable brands available to us. And they are amazing cable brands. But I don't want to pay as much as a car for a set of speaker cables, as much as a motorcycle for a power cord. I am not doing that no more. Jay is not getting hustle again. No more. Please hit that like button, guys. Let's get more people here involved so we can continue to talk about these cables and I can respond to some of your questions. I would really appreciate you. I do not know if there will be a black color, but I can ask if there, there maybe they can put a different jacket on it that can make them black. I can ask if you guys are interested in perhaps a different color. I can definitely look into that, guys. Okay, the priority say the way you prioritize cables is as follows. Some of you guys may feel different about this. Okay, I would say number one. It, it's a toss-up. Either the power cords are number one or the speaker cables number one. Either or. So either power cords and speaker cables are the top two most important cables in any system. Speaker cables and power cords. I'm telling you right now, those are the main two cables you look for first. Okay. Then after that, I want to say if you're running a digital system, if you have a music server plugged into your um, DAC, whatever your those may be, I would say number three for me is definitely, definitely the USB cable. The USB cable coming from your music server into your DAC to me is number three. Um, number four, of course, what's left, the XLRs. And then the last cable you need to worry about, I'll tell you flat out, the last cable you need to worry about is the Ethernet cable. Yes, you should do it at the end. But to me, it's the last cable when you have money left hanging out of your pocket. You don't really know what to do with it. Then you buy the Ethernet cable if you want to know my honest opinion. Okay, so how do these cables sound in comparison to AudioQuest? Okay, I have an AudioQuest Dragon in here, as a matter of fact. So the Dragon is going to have this feeling of a big soundstage. If you have the AudioQuest Dragon, it's going to have a lot of bass. The, dra uh, the Dragon Source does not have a lot of bass. The Dragon High Current has a lot of impact, a lot of body to it. Okay, uh, what I can say to you is... When you listen to an AudioQuest Dragon, if you sit there long enough, I believe, in my humble opinion, it starts to wear on you. 
you begin to get this feeling of too much detail and they can get bright. Hands down, AudioQuest Dragon cables can get bright. However, they are phenomenal cables. I'm not gonna knock them, I've used them successfully. One of the very first cables that blew my mind when I plugged them into the back of a Griffin amplifier. Amazing cables, okay? So that's the difference. Now with this cable line, what it will do is it will open up the sound stage, okay? And it will actually separate things better. Um, everything sounds cleaner and it has a sense of musicality that I believe the AudioQuest Dragon simply does not have naturally. Yes, yeah, so cables, in my opinion, are system dependent, okay? Cables are tuning devices. If you guys don't believe in it, fly into my room, fly into my hometown when you're here. I'll give you a demonstration of how a cable can tune your system. Cables, they all sound different. They all have a sound signature. Anybody who's telling you different is a liar. I'm telling you here right now, okay? All cables have a sound signature because cable designers need to test them with whatever speakers they're using, and they need to achieve a certain type of sound through that loudspeaker they use to manufacture their cables, okay? So they are coming with a certain sound, okay? All cable cables are tuning devices. I'm telling you right now. So yes, cables are system dependent. However, and you guys will see over time that I will continue to showcase a lot of these cables with different speakers so you guys can get a feel of how really good they are with a lot of different speaker designs, okay? Sealed cabinets, ported speakers, maybe even do horns, who knows? I want you guys to get a feel for that, uh, for the cable in different setups with different electronics, okay? So that's the beautiful thing about being part of my channel is that you'll get to hear the cable with different electronics. At some point, the cable will be with Constellation. At some point, it will be with Solution. At some point, it will be with, who knows, MSB, DCS, D'Agostino, you name it. I would have, if you guys want to know specific prices, okay, about the cables, shoot me an email. You guys know my email, are all, my, my email is always on the description of each video. Okay, so go on the description of each video, go on there, there, you'll find my email there, okay? If you want to know specific prices for your needs, shoot me an email, okay? What else do you guys want me to answer about cables? So, Cardas cables, okay, I'll explain it to you. My ownership of Cardas cables. I had the top of the line Cardas cable, okay? High, very, very, um, it's a cable that's well built. Not going to say it's not. It's a great, really well built cable. Problem with Cardas cable is, Guys, it sounds to me, it's warmer, it's very fat when it comes to the bottom end, uh, and it just doesn't, it, 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 to me, it gave me one of the biggest issues I had here in my system, especially with my Griffin, Griffin amplifiers. It, it, it really pulled in, it sucked in interference from my room, something that no other cable had ever done. And so it's a cable that has, you know, a lot of capacity of impedance. It's a cable that, it's like an antenna, if that makes sense. And I always felt like it never sounded natural to me. I, I, again, the cable to me, I eventually moved away from it and I was able to art articulate and understand what Cardas didn't really do for me. In my opinion, great cable for the money. And by the way, now that you're mentioning Cardas, these cables are basically priced at the same price point that Cardas has their, their top of the line Cardas, yet they perform at the level of the big expensive cables that you have typically seen in my system. The pricing of the footers, guys. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what the pricing of the footers is. The footers, guys, the top of the line footers. Listen to this. You're gonna laugh. Okay, the top of the line footers, they're called ultra. They actually call footers pads. That's their name. Okay. $335 US. Did you hear that? $335 US. Really? I'm using that with my Boulder 3010 right now. 
Top of the line footers, $335 US. Now, if you think I'm here to make money, I got news for you. My cost at $335, it probably doesn't even fill up my gas, my, my truck, my SUV, my, my, my diesel truck outside. Not going to make me rich by selling something that's $335. But I was out there to find value and performance in the same sentence for you guys. I have used them and I am blown away by what these footers are doing. Blown away. I have had footers that are $2,500 a year. That will go nameless, but you guys know what I'm talking about, okay? There is no waiting period with these footers. There is no settling in, in my opinion. I heard a difference immediately when those footers went under my 3010 Boulder Pre. It was absolutely amazing, astonishing. I mean, there was stuff happening behind the speaker. The separation of the instrumentation was just even better defined than I had ever heard through the 3010. I have tried, okay, so Siltic cables are very smooth, sweet sounding. Now, here is how these cables are different. I would say they have a little bit of the Siltic musicality, but they are more coherent and complete. I feel Siltic, not to mention the prices, we know that they are a good company, great company. I almost brought Siltic cables, actually, guys. I almost bought a set a full of Siltic cables, guys. And unfortunately, I was still exploring this new cable line. And so I decided to pass on the opportunity to experiment with Siltic cables. But I have heard Siltic cables and also the feedback from others. It's a very musically, it's a musical engaging uh, presentation. Uh, these cables have the musicality. These cables have the engagement factor. And again, the detail and the clarity. Those are the main things I was looking for. Clarity, detail, and fatigue free listening sessions please i was tired of my ears ringing non-stop the next morning when i rolled out of bed my right ear will go ding, and then eventually it'll go away and then if the next day i didn't listen to music then i wouldn't have a problem but it was constant and it was just a fatigue it was feeling like i was on eggshells when i was listening to music i felt like man it's so much information it overwhelms you it forces that information down your throat. That's what some of these cable lines do. You guys know what I'm talking about. I know a lot of you guys can ex can literally, they're la you guys are laughing probably right now because you have been through it, okay? And I wanted a cable that doesn't do that. Yeah, I mean, listen, guys, of course, any cable is going to have a different result with a different system. Yes, that's any cable, not just this cable line. But the cool thing is I have successfully tried this cable with multiple speakers and I have had positive results. I love what I hear. I love what I hear with different speakers and you guys will get to hear this cable line soon with Wilson Audio, okay? You will get to hear that. And the reason why is because, let's face it, most of you guys have Wilson Audio or Magical or Focal. So if I bring those three speakers and I place these cables behind, I am appealing to probably 60 to 70% of my following, okay? Because that's really the most popular brand in the United States, those three brands, okay? So, but I plan to give you my feedback from a lot of different reference points with different electronics. No, these cables are in a different league from Claris Cable, guys. This is a different league. This is a different legal cable. This is not in the same. Claris Cable, I had it here briefly. Good cable, great construction, great ownership. Amazing, you know, the, the founder of the brand is a great person. But this, to me, right here is a different level. Okay, to me, this, if I put my name behind it, it's because I am doing, again, Folks, I am doing the comparisons here, guys. I am doing the comparisons. If you most know, this is the convincing factor for you guys sometimes. This is what convinces you. When you guys are saying, well, he doesn't know what he's talking about. He's never had trying, you know, expensive cables. Guys, I'm doing the comparisons right here. You believe me now? I live with the expensive stuff and the affordable stuff. So this should be my resume to you guys. This right here to believe what I'm saying right here. 
I'm telling you, believe it. I'm doing the comparisons. I'm telling you. Okay, so that's it. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. That's really it. Questions. What other questions you guys have? Any other questions that you guys may want to answer? Look, the speaker cable. This is one for one side. Independent to each binding post. See that? They're not together like typically like most brands are. This is a separate. This is one for the left speaker or right speaker. And they're directional too, by the way. Solid. 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 Look. Solid copper. No strands here. Absolutely nothing. You could look. They stay in the, in the shape that you twist them. You see that? See? There you go. Solid pieces. I am using the standard Shunyata outlets um, that you guys see on their website that are like a hundred bucks, I think it is. They have absolute, these cables, again, these cables right here have absolutely astonishing clarity. If you want to find a review, there is a review you guys can read up on, uh, on a website that I'm not going to mention. You guys can find it. They are reviewing the Maestoso MK1 cable. And they gave it as one of the best performing cables. I believe they gave it 98% out of 100. 98 out of 100. Think about it. And the power cord that got 100, that, that power cord is like four times the money. So you mean to tell me that you're going to spend four times the money to get that extra 2%? No, no. Hell no. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm done. Those days are done for me. 2022 was a great year, but it taught me a lot. It taught me to really sniff the BS, the dishonesty, the scams, the way sometimes we are being taken advantage of, which oftentimes it is our fault. 2023, it's a whole direction now. It's a whole new direction. I am putting my name on what I believe in. And yes, I am still going to buy the heavy hitter brands on the used market. If they're trying to deny me from ordering, if they're trying to block dealers from selling me, don't worry, I'm going to address those brands right away by telling them, you can't stop me. I can buy on the used market anything I want. So, yes, I can continue to carry on comparisons. Yes, I can continue to bring the, the brands that you guys know out, are out there, cable lines, whatever you, you call, and I can still compare them all day long, okay? Because the used market exists. No, there's no, no need to be upset at me for, for being mad at me. Why would they be mad at me? I mean, why would the other the other cable lines be mad at me? If they watch this video, if they're watching it right now, I'll address it. You can't be mad at me. I've never said that your brands are bad. As a matter of fact, I'm using you all as my reference point so that I can find something that delivers the performance that you guys are. You guys are my benchmark. So I'm not really pooping on the brands. I'm just saying, can I find something that does what you all do for 25% of the money. That's all I'm saying. You guys are still my benchmark. Your top end brands. I just feel like I don't want to spend that kind of money. It's kind of like you're the Ferrari, but maybe I found a Corvette that is just as good and it feels like a lot of the performance of a you know a high end car. That's all I'm saying. So no, I'm not talking bad on the brands. I'm just saying I don't want to pay those prices no more. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying they don't perform. I'm not saying they're garbage. You know, there are things that I don't agree with as far as like what they do sonically, for instance, the intensity of this clarity, the feeling that there is overwhelming amount of information to the point that you're like, it was cool at first, guys, hearing so much detail out of my speakers. But now I feel like, man, it's a little too much. It doesn't seem natural. I don't feel like the regular like sounds in nature are that intense in my ears, you know, in my hearing. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes, in my opinion, I call these brands supernatural brands. They are supernatural. If you love supernatural brands, supernatural sound, if you are a sucker for supernatural sound, you would absolutely love the brands that we all know by now. But if you want natural sound, you would love this brand that I have right now. I have tried Anzus Cables. Anzus Cables, great brand. 
Uh, reminds me a lot of Nordus cables, a lot of detail, a lot of resolution. Uh, but I feel that this cable line, for the money, clearly for the money, because Anzu's cables are a lot of money. To me, it's a better brand for the money. Yeah, I, I'm. Li listen, in case you don't know, a lot of you guys have been asking me, okay, a lot of you all have been asking me for, Jay, is there anything out there that presents high-level performance for not that crazy obscene amount of money? You guys have been, have been asking me for that. Okay, and I found it. I'm bringing it to you now. I am actually bringing you that performance that you have been craving of the top in brands for a hell of a lot less money. Now I'm doing it. Okay, so when you know when it comes to my transparency, I'm not going to change my word and tell you, oh, this doesn't work anymore. Or that. no, I am. I have been doing this work for basically the majority of 2022. I have been doing this, all these trials, cable trials, constantly. And at one point, I'm not going to lie, I almost gave up, guys. I almost, almost gave up. I didn't want to do it anymore because I was exhausted. It was tedious. You really think, do you really think, guys, that I enjoy my system as much as you guys enjoy yours? No, I don't. I don't enjoy my system as much as you guys enjoy yours. I don't. Those days are gone, long gone behind me. Now I'm in a different seat. Now I am under different lights. Now I have a YouTube channel to run. Now I have to actually get out there and find valuable content to come back and report to you guys on. Now I have to sit in my chair evaluating things, doing my reviews, giving you positive feedback through my consultation service, whatever advice you guys want to talk about, whatever questions you guys have. So my days are long gone now of sitting here and just literally chilling after a long day of work. I don't even have that time anymore. Now it's my regular job, which I am in love with. And then sitting down, if I have a two hour gap, I'm actually cabling or moving stuff around or moving the speakers in and out or doing this or doing that. That's what I'm doing now. So yeah, my time is now about work. And because of this work, now I'm more passionate about really, really doing the legwork that a lot of brand, a lot of dealers don't do. A lot of people don't do. Now, hold on one second. I'm going to connect my laptop here. Yeah, listen, I'm not here. I'm not here to like call out names, brands specifically, or do any of that, guys. I don't want to embark on that, right? I just want to say I found something that provides a lot of value and performance to you all. This is not, I don't want to talk about the speakers yet, guys. The speakers are still here. They're hiding in the room. This is mainly about this cable line that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Uh, the speakers probably will take a back seat for now. I am having, I wouldn't say difficulties, but I can't think of another word. I am having some difficulties um, I have given feedback on my website, jaysaudiolab.com. If you were a member of my website, if you are a member, you would know what speakers they are. Um, you know, and I have feedback there. I have given you two, I've made two different videos there talking about my pain points so far with this speaker. Now, it's in the early stages. I haven't even gotten around to rotating other components. So it is very preliminary. I will say this to you, though. Yesterday, do you see that? See this right here? I got the Strom Tank 5000 in here, the top dog from Strom Tank. Just yesterday, it just came in yesterday. And I'm going to tell you that is out. That could be probably the best component I have had in 2022, right there. That could very, that is top two, top three best component I have ever I have owned throughout 2022. So more to come on that Strom Tank 5000. You guys are going to get to hear it really soon. So stay tuned for that. Listen, I am, I am in alignment with what you guys are being very vocal about. The price increases need to stop, guys. Listen, guys, I remember seeing speakers that were $55,000 
two years, three years ago. Okay. And now they are $80,000. Guys, I agree with you guys. I think this entire price increase, these constant price increases need to come to an end. But I think we are, excuse my language, we are the dumb individuals who continue to feed that entire price increase. We keep buying it. So they are going to keep jacking up the prices. If they saw, if manufacturers saw, okay, if they saw a decrease in sales, they are not going to jack up the prices. I promise you, because they're going to realize, guys, we can't even sell at this price point. What lets you believe, what leads you to believe that these customers are going to buy now at more expensive price points? We keep buying. Manufacturers will keep jacking up the prices. They will keep increasing their prices because we keep buying. This is why, one more time, this is why I got this cable line. Because you ain't not catching me no more. I am not spending more money. I have reached the limit. I'm tired of continuing to buy more and more expensive stuff. And what's funny is some of these, and I'm not even going to tell you the names of the speakers that I'm going to talk about later. Some of these speaker brands start at 50 grand. And they have had the same model for four or five years. And now it's $90,000, $95,000. I am not paying $95,000 for a speaker that was $50,000 four years ago. No, you're not going to catch me in that game. You want to go ahead and do it to other people that are not watching my channel, that don't hear me speak. I'm not doing that. Sorry. I'd rather put my money in the bank and wait for another model to come out. So but you guys keep doing that. So. You guys keep driving up the prices because you keep buying the ridiculousness and all these things that keep being just completely inflated. You know, how can a product go up in price 60% throughout three years? How, how is that possible? How is that possible? How can it go up 60%, 65%? When I see that, I'm done. Like I'm not buying anymore. I'm not buying. I'm done. I'm not pursuing product that's been the same for the last four or five years. I'm enjoying my vinyl setup tremendously. I have this cable line finally sending me, I actually order a, an entire, a long eight meter XLR cable to go from my chronos all the way to the back okay so now we'll be able to do a real comparison of my msb DAC against my chronos turntable because the biggest discrepancy here was i was using a shunyata xlr run from my turntable all the way to my preamplifier and i was using my cable line from the DAC into the preamplifier Blindfolded A/B test that can be done all day, and I got I, I got news for you. If you could do a blind, if you do a blindfold A/B test between these cables at this price point and a more expensive brand that is four or five times the money, and you realize, damn, you know, uh, I really can't decide. Bingo, you got your answer. Because if you have a blind test done, okay, with these cables and a more expensive cable line, right? And you sit there and you're closing your eyes and you don't know what's playing. And then you're like, wow, you know, I really have a hard time deciding which cable I like better. You got your answer. Stay with the more affordable cable. That's your answer. You buy the affordable cable because if you can't decide, why are you going to go for the more expensive one? That's your answer, the more affordable one. That's what you buy. That's what I'm saying. Bingo. Thank you for that question. You know what? The ultra high end, and I have lived in the ultra high end. You guys know this. I live with all of this stuff, okay? The expensive stuff, guys, okay? And what I'm saying to you guys is the ultra high end, yes, it's getting out of hand. It is getting to be now ultra super high end. Like, it is, I mean, I'm probably going to have to come up with another category now. Ultra super high end. Because a lot of these brands are pricing themselves out. You are offering product that was originally 30 grand and now you're charging $45,000 for, $50,000 for, okay? For the same product, for the same model. It's not like it's a new model that just released. The same speaker has gone up 15,000. The same amplifier has gone up 20,000. No, I'm not doing that, folks. I'm done with that. No, no more. <laughs> 
Now, I will say this. When it comes to power, I will be, hopefully you guys enjoyed that last video. I will be doing a lot more when it comes to power. You guys will see a lot of comparisons pretty soon. I am getting, getting ready to do the strong tank, the $50,000 strong tank. Plug everything into that and then remove it and go straight into the wall. And you guys are going to be in for a real treat. I promise you. You guys are going to be like, oh, my God. I, I didn't know. It. I didn't really did not know it was that, that much of a difference, that big of a difference. Inflation is a thing, guys. I understand and inflation has to do, you know, something that we cannot control. I get that. But, you know, it's just for me hard and painful to believe that I have to pay a 50% increase on a product that was released five years ago, four years ago, and nothing's changed ever since. I just have a difficult time paying for that. And this is why a lot of you guys resort to the used market. So one way of me combat for me to combat for me to really mitigate that problem is by finding more value more dollar performance uh price price performance propositions I'm sorry price performance propositions i may be going to munich next year i was talking to my wife about it okay i may be going to munich and i may be out there embarking on locating actually new brands that I might believe in and realize that, you know what, let me get a couple of those and compare against these heavy hitters. Maybe there is something that's a quarter of the money that really blows me away and it's superior. This is now the mentality that I have. I am now realizing the ultra high end, yes, although it is great and it's amazing and I live with it and I love it dearly, there is an element to which is that status symbol, that money you pay to say you got X, Y, and Z. But the reality is that to me, I'm done with that. To me, I want to find just better performers for less money. And I do not know, guys, if I'm going to succeed when it comes to electronics, when it comes to speakers. I know I have succeeded when it comes to cables. And if I can do this with electronics, you guys will know about it, okay? You guys knew about Block Audio in the past. I discovered Block Audio. I was the YouTuber who discovered it. It was me who identified that brand. But unfortunately, I was very early in the game and I couldn't become a distributor. I couldn't actually put my name because I did not know in which direction I was going to go. Today, I feel like, listen, it is my journey. It is, it is what I want to do. Of course, I still have to be authentic with you guys and I have to still let you guys know the truth. Regardless, if you guys do a consultation with me and you want to talk about X, Y, and Z as far as cable brands, I am going to give you my own biased opinion each and every time without having to sell you anything because I don't want to do that. If you have the curiosity to find out more about what I have, just email me. But I'm not going to start on that. I don't want to go about that. I just want to have close to me those brands that I believe in. That's it. That's all it is. Inflation is a thing in every part of the world today, and unfortunately, we are in a, in a hobby that things are getting stupid, expensive, and out of hand. Guys, I, we can't continue to spend this kind of money and, you know, simply, you know, take it because we should be able to control demand. We should be able to refuse to pay those prices. We should be able to say no more of this. It's up to us. If we do that, manufacturers will see that and realize we're not selling anything anymore because we're we're jacking up our prices. So we have to figure out a way to continue to give them performance for less money. How do we do that? See, that's what you have to realize. We oftentimes, our needs, our wants, our demand also factors into this price increase. Okay. Because if I have a cell phone to sell you, Okay, uh, and this cell phone is like the Samsung full whatever phone, right? And if I have a cell phone to sell you guys, and this is fifteen hundred dollars or whatever, uh, but I'm not selling them. What does Samsung do? They put them on their website for twelve ninety nine because they're not selling enough, and that's the problem. That's the problem. See, the ultra high end doesn't work that way. Audio doesn't work like that in general. But it's us. We cause that. 
We are the ones causing that problem. It's our fault. This is why price is also not all of it. No, it's not all of our fault, but we are partially liable for what's happening. We, we are. We're the ones. We're the ones forking out the credit card, paying top dollar for stuff. No, see, I've said it again, guys, and I'll make a video about it. You have to know how to compare cables. It's not plug and play. It, if you are at home right now comparing power cords and you think the way to compare a power cord is plug in power cord A, sit down, grab the remote and push play, and whatever happens next is really what the reality is. I got news for you. You're doing it all wrong. It doesn't work that way. That's not the way to compare cables. You should be able to, uh, you should actually allow the cable to settle in for a few days. Leave the system running for a few days. Take notes along the way and understand what the system is doing. And then go back to what you had, which you should have embedded in your head already because you have been living with whatever it is that you're trying to replace. And it should be immediate, the differences but you have to allow for the cables to settle before you come to a final conclusion of what it is or it isn't doing in your system. If you are if you are right now at home and you're watching this and you're going to do a cable shootout for you, my advice, free advice, do not just replace one with the other and expect that to be the final word. It is not you have to allow for the new cable to settle for a few days and then take notes after. Then when you're done doing that, taking your notes, remove the cable that you replaced, put the old one back in, and you should know exactly at that moment what happened because your mind has been tuned to already know what the cable that you own is doing in your system. So it's going to be easy for you to know what it does or it doesn't do. That's the proper way to evaluate cables. Yes, yeah, some may say, no, you need a month to really properly evaluate a cable. Okay, that's fine. But you get my train of thought, okay? That is the right way to compare cables. So here's the issue with mix and matching cables, guys. Here's my problem with mix and matching cables, okay? I'm going to give you a reason to not start Mix and matching cables. Down the road, when you feel you know what you're after, you've tried everything, you know the characteristics, the sonics of each cable brand, then feel free to be your own cook in the kitchen. But here's the reason why I don't recommend when you're starting to put a new cable uh, system in your, in your audio system to mix and match. Because I, I'll give you an example. If you put a cable that is tilted on the top end, and you insert it. And then behind it, the power cord that follows is a warmer cable, a cable that does the opposite, that is notorious to add more bass. What happens is you're now taking away the energy in the high frequency of the cable that you introduced to begin with. Okay, so now you're kind of tilting it back. And now you could be adding or negating the positive impact of that new cable you just inserted. OK, so that is why. And then what happens is you really have a hard time deciding which cable is really the one you should keep. And it's tough to say because they are interacting with each other in the system. So this is why it's very hard to know what one single cable can do um, because the rest of your cabling system is also talking to it. You see what I'm saying? And it may be also negating some of the attributes the positive attributes that that cable may have. Does that make sense? So be careful with doing these comparisons when you're only changing one cable, unless you already have a great, great understanding of your cable system. You have done a lot of rotations. You've been doing this for a long time. You just know, okay, you've lived with this. Everybody else who doesn't, who do not have a lot of actual experience with this, I strongly advise about being your own cook in the kitchen when it comes to cables. Do not do that. Please don't. Let me see. So the high dynamics, here's another issue. When you have a cable that's tilted, the top end is tilted. The problem is with this, 
okay, that you guys will notice that in the beginning, it'll be, wow, oh my God, amazing. You guys are going to be enamored with this new top end that's got so much sizzle, so much detail and revealing characteristics. You're going to be doing backflips. Then 30, 45, min 45 minutes later, you're going to be like, without even knowing, turning down the volume. Not knowing, you're turning it down more and more. Oh, this is classic rock, too bright. And the next one, and the next one, and the next one. Only to realize that now it's no longer enjoyable. Now you have a love affair with your volume because now you have to manage that brightness by turning the volume down. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm saying. This is why I don't recommend that you do that. Okay. This is why I'm saying when a cable impresses you right out of the gate, don't fall prey of that feeling. That is one of the reasons why some of these cable brands make the cable sound overly bright, overly clear, bass heavy, because they want to grab your attention with the short listening session that you're more than likely going to have at your local dealer. It is easier to sell something that impresses you right out of the gate than sell something that needs your attention for a little longer. That's what you have to realize. OK, most of us are only there for 30 to 45 minutes or an hour at a dealer. So, yes, clearly the cable that is going to sell is that cable that's very pushed forward throughout the frequency range, because that's the one that's going to grab your attention. And the moment you take it home and you live with it, 30, 45 minutes later or, an hour, or three days later, you're going to realize it was great, but it was very short lived. That's what happens. So who do you guys, uh, I mean, how do you want to see, listen, cables are cables, I said it, they are tuning devices. Cables are tuning devices, folks. They Their job is to tune. You have to decide what you want to do, okay? Wilson, magical. They sound very different. I've had them both on my channel. Very different approaches to sound reproduction. You have to choose the cable that you feel will go well with your speaker and that takes a lot of trial and error or talking somebody to somebody who knows about these these speaker brands okay remember the speaker dictates the rest of your system first it is your room first and foremost i'll say it again first it is your room that room dictates the speaker that belongs in there okay the room dictates the speaker that belongs in there OK, it's not the speaker that dictates or you that dictates the speaker that should be there. It's the room that you're in that dictates the speaker that should be there. OK, so unless you have a dedicated room, spacious, no issues, then you can do what you, whatever you want, because at that point, your options are limitless. But for the most part, for those of you who have a living room, a coffee table, a couch, you name it, that that room will dictate the speaker that goes front and center. Then once you get the speaker. OK, of course, you look at the amplification, depending on the efficiency of that speaker, how many drivers it has, the tonality of the speaker. Is it warm? Is it bright? What kind of amplifier would go would go with that? Is it class A, class AB, class D? Once you have that, then you go to the source. Source is important. We know depending on what you want to do, vinyl, you got CD, you got a DAC, whatever it is. Once you get to that, the cables become the conversation. OK, but again, the speaker is dictating the cables as well. The speakers are, in my opinion, the determining factor of what cables you are going to be buying. Yes, are electronics important? Are they going to have something to say? Yes, electronics will have something to say. But the, for, the, for the most part, the speaker dictates the cable that follows. OK, nine times out of 10, it's the speaker that dictates. OK, remember that. How would these cables work with a tube system? I think they would work phenomenal, Tony. I don't think there is a problem with tubes and these cables. These cables, to me, I mean, I just I just love everything about them. I mean, I really do. You know, and if you're just joining us, the name of the brand, so you guys know, okay, that way you have it here. If you're just joining us, Authentic Audio Images, okay? Now you're seeing it, right? Authentic Audio Images 
from Slovakia. That is my new cable line that I am going to represent and I am the sole U.S. distributor for, okay? You can't buy these in the United States through anybody else but me, okay? And if you are curious whether they do sound good or, or not, you will hear videos for free, okay, on YouTube. And you have her videos, as a matter of fact, already with my Magic OS 7s, uh, that it was my cable line playing for the last two months. For the last two months that I have been playing the S7s, that was my cable line playing. Okay? You have a lot of reference points. And pretty soon, I will do a Wilson Audio speaker with it too. What else do you guys would like? What else would you guys like to know? Guys, the cables, if you're if you're curious about the cables, guys, all you have to do is reach out to me, okay? Send me an email, tell me what you want, okay? And we can have a conversation about the cables and the prices. Guys, they are not going to break your bank. They are not going to crush you finance, financially like other cables do, okay? They are not, okay? The markup on cables is ridiculous. I shouldn't be saying this because now I sell cables. I shouldn't be saying this, but the markup on cables specifically in the United States, is very ridiculous. I'm telling you right now, I've seen prices. Not going to tell you prices. Not going to do that to you all, okay? But yes, so what I'm trying to say is I know there was room there for, for me to find a cable line that was more affordable, where the profit margin is less, but the performance is there. And I have reference points in here from other great cable brands, okay, that you guys have heard on my channel that I'm comparing against. And my reference points are very well known here in the US and throughout the world. So all I did was get out there, bring this new cable line and compare to these cable brands that I've had in the past. And then realize that, you know what? Yeah, this other brand is probably from the US is probably three, 4% better, but not worth six times the money, five times the money, even twice the money. And that's why I said, I'm, put a, I'm gonna put a stop here. I'm gonna pump the brakes. And I'm going to stick with this. I think Wilson Audio and Magical work, work both well with uh, transparent cables. My only knock with transparent cables, you know, I love the sheer clarity. I love the resolution. I will never take that away from transparent. My only shot, my only knock with transparent cables. Okay. And I'll say it here front and center. It leads to short listening sessions if you crank up the volume. I'm telling you, go if you don't believe me, get out to your local dealer, go to your friend's house that has transparent cables with Wilson Audio and crank up the volume and sit there. And then you're going to say, damn it, Jay was right. Yeah, it sounds impressive for the first 15, 20 minutes. And after that, I got to turn it down. I can't handle it anymore. That's the truth. That And I am tired of doing those short listening sessions. I am not doing that anymore. I want to listen for long now, for long, long listening sessions when I have the time to evaluate equipment. Yes, I am going to have the Wilson Audio Sasha DAW again. The Sasha DAW will be here. I may even do a shootout of the Sasha DAW against the Magical A5. Uh, the, the Sasha is going to be $42,000 MSRP effective January 1st, I think it is. The uh, Magical A5 is 28K, so we're talking a $14,000 price gap between both. So maybe you guys will get to see Magical A5 against the Sasha DAW. I think you guys would love that presentation. You would love that comparison, that analysis. So hopefully you are right now subscribing, okay, and giving me a thumbs up right now and liking this video because I'm sharing it here first with you guys, okay? Give me a like right now. I will be doing the Magical A5 against. My, Wilson Audio Sasha DAW. Jay's Audio Lab, very first, very first real ultra high end loudspeaker comparison with some of the best electronics, cost no object, best DAC, and amazing speaker cables. Give me that like right now because I'm telling you, you guys are hearing it first. Q1 of next year, I expect to have the Griffin Apex, Griffin Commander, and do the shootout of Magical versus Wilson. Long overdue. Time to do it. That's it. Magical Wilson will happen here in on my channel. You will get to hear it. But I cannot do the expensive Wilsons 
and the expensive magic goes because I don't have the space. So we will choose two affordable speakers, A5, Sasha the AW, and do a fair comparison and analysis, and then be front and center to tell you the takeaways from both speakers, which I will say are amazing to my ears. The best cable brand for Griffin, Mephisto, and Pandora, I'll say stick to Griffin cables, man. I like Griffin cables with Griffin Electronics. I've tried a lot of different cables with Griffin, and uh, honestly, it, get, it led to year fatigue. Oftentimes, I was very fatigued with Griffin Electronics if I started to mix and match different cables. Okay, so give me a like again. Do you want to see the Sasha DAW in my room next month against the magical A5 loudspeaker? We're going to use Boulder Electronics, MSB DAC, Authentic Audio Images Cables, which is my cable line. And we're going to use either vinyl or we might do or we might do the MSB DAC. I don't know. Give me a like. Do you want to see that shootout happen? Remember how I did that uh, amplifier comparison? Remember how I did that? I am going to do the same thing for those two loudspeakers. I'm going to set them. I'm going to position them correctly. I am going to shoot on day one Magicos or Wilson's after I have tweaked them, let the cables settle, let the speaker, everything settle for a day or two, shoot the content, and then switch the speakers, let that next speaker sit there for two, three days, letting everything settle, shoot the same songs, same volume levels, record both and combine them and present, present to you all my findings. That's how I'm going to do this, okay? You guys want to see that, give me that like right now because I'm going to do it for you guys and it's going to be a lot of work but I wish I could do like an Alex V against like a magical like M6 or something like that. But the truth is, guys, number one is a huge financial investment. And number two, guys, I don't have the room, the space for those two months, massive speakers. So I have to deal with, you know, what I'm doing right now. And I'm OK. I think you guys would appreciate the Sasha DAW against the A5 from um, uh, magical. OK, see, if you guys want to see that, I want to see a lot of lights right now. And I'm going to do it. You, you know, guys, you know, I come through for you all. You know I come through for you all, all the time, okay? You guys know I always come through for you. All I ask of you is to give me those likes and subscribe. That's all I ask of you. I'll do the legwork. I'll spend the money. Uh, you know, I'll do what I need. I do the lifting. I'll herniate my back. All I want is that subscri subscribe and, you know, the like. That's all I need from you all. That's the best thing to pay me, uh, you know, that you can do to pay me back. I don't really know. I mean, listen, um, I am a believer that the Sasha DAW might be getting replaced over the next uh, year and a half to two years. I think we're going to see a new Sasha DAW in the next two years, for sure. What shootout do you want to see, Curtis? Curtis is asking, appreciate your girlfriend watching me. Um, Curtis, let me know what she wants to see and if I can make it even happen here, because I really don't know if I have what she wants in here as far as components. I'm going to do the shootout. If you guys support me, if you guys are hitting the like button on every video. Matter of fact, I'm going to make it official here. Going forward, videos that I put out there, I want to see you guys comment, like, and subscribe. If I see an uptick on those things, and YouTube is telling me my videos are doing better, that's an indication that you all really, really want to see the Sasha DW front and center against my magical A5s. Okay? If you really want to see the shootout, let me know that way. Let me know by subscribing and liking my videos more going forward. I want to see more engagement because that is going to let me know, wow, you guys are going to put me, basically, you're going to put pressure on me at that moment because I know you're coming through for me. If you do that, I'll promise you I'll do it again. I will put those speakers front and center for you guys on the channel, and you guys are going to have a field day and blast talking about both pretty much the two most successful speaker brands in the, in the United States. Right? Fair? Any other questions before I sign off for the day and I begin to play with this Strong Tank 5000 in the back? Anything else that you guys want to know before I sign out? Um, 
Yeah, Griffin cables are made by uh, Siltic. Griffin cables are made by Siltic. Um, the best stack under twelve thousand dollars. I mean, that's uh, there's got to be something. I would say if you could just put your budget, make your budget a little higher. I would consider like the bar talk for like 16. I think it is the bar took from DCS. That would be a great one to do. Oh, price increases will continue folks. They will continue. Unfortunately, though, unfortunately that will never stop. That will never stop. Thank you. Uh, Jenkins. I appreciate the support brother. Thank you. Uh, okay, folks. Uh, I think that about wraps it up. Once again, if you want to see more content exclusive to my work here, check out my website, jaysaudiolab.com. If not, I still love you all for being here and supporting me on YouTube. It doesn't matter. You're, I'm not, you don't have to subscribe or become a member. If you do, I love the support. If you don't, just continue to be here with me, commenting, liking the videos, and subscribing. That's the other way you guys can help me, okay? So more to come. And again, check out... My cable line, authentic audio images, okay, from Slovakia. If you are wondering, this is the name of the cable line. Authentic audio images from Slovakia, okay? New cable line. I am the U.S. distributor. You cannot get this cable line in the United States through anybody else but me, okay? If you are just joining the party, please watch the entire video that I just went through right now this video this live stream when it ends and you'll get more answers i'm sure of what is going on in the lab okay until then guys thank you for your support as always peace i couldn't do this with any of you guys you guys know you mean the world to me thank you for being a loyal supporter supporter of my efforts peace